My name is Chris Bates. I am from Fort Collins. I grew up in Fort Collins and Loveland. I mean, I just love the fact that public art not only you know gets to beautify a place. This is something that is always out, always there, and all kinds of people see it. Even like during the process of painting this, you know, I get I've talked to little kids and preschool out walking with their moms. I've talked to grandparents, business owners, and they all enjoy it in different ways. It engages a whole wide range of people for a whole wide range of reasons and people love seeing it for what it is and what they, how they enjoy it and I, I like that. My name is Laura Browarney and I'm the culture supervisor for the Town of Windsor. So the Town of Windsor Arts Commission um, is a group of really engaged Windsor citizens who are interested in bringing public art to our community. So this particular mural, it being our sort of inaugural mural, um, we wanted to demonstrate a lot of things. One, we wanted to show that we can partner with local businesses who privately own the walls that we are painting on. We want to show that we are listening to the community, so we used information from the Public Art Master Plan as well as input from the building owners and from the Arts Commission to determine the content of this mural and we also want to be a community that artists enjoy working with and so Chris has come to our meetings and talked about his process and what he does for art so we've worked together as a very collaborative unit to make sure that everybody wants to create public art in Windsor. I'm Ashley Hitchcock and I own the 408 Exchange. I am Jonathan Hitchcock. I am the president, CEO, and chef here at the 408 Exchange. Yeah, we are ecstatic. It is, uh, it's an honor to be a part of the, the community and, and to be a part of uh, what has transpired into this beautiful uh, mural. Uh, we could not be more, more happy. It, it's everything we wanted it to be. We wanted it to, um, so the 408, we're all about the history of this building um, and being creative and you know making handcrafted stuff. And so this handcrafted wall now, um, really encompasses all the history of the community, the building, and makes it that place where we can engage in, in art and enjoying something cool. So, I love it. I mean, really, with this, I'm just trying to make something that's maybe speaks to a lot of different aspects of uh, Windsor's history, Windsor's culture, and, and potentially Windsor's future, because this is the first mural that the Windsor Art Commission has put up. So it's kind of something that to get people excited about what's coming next. And that's been a lot of the conversations I have had out here are people are like, oh wow, we're getting a mural. And I'm like, this is the first thing that's happening. There's going to be a lot more things. Or they're like, thank you so much for doing this. And I'm like, thank the Windsor Art Commission for, for doing this because they're the ones that ultimately, I'm just like the conduit to put it on the wall. So public art really creates a sense of place. Um, it turns the community from just a town to a destination. You know, as people are walking up and down Main Street, you know, they might just sort of walk by, get in their car and leave rather than stopping to, you know, spend time in town, get a cup of coffee, and then we've got this really beautiful backdrop for people to come and spend their time. And so we're hoping that, you know, as the years go by, it won't just be one mural, but it will be an entire town that is that beautiful backdrop for people to come and stay.